Yep, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Catch even a glimpse of victory if you insist on always running away. However, facing a foe you know nothing about is lunacy. In this war, information is everything. To defeat your opponent, learn all you can about them. Their class, their skills, even their history. The more info you have, the easier it will be to create a plan and predict your opponent's actions. For now, why don't you go to the library? There's a treasure trove of information over there. I know how hard it is for you to show gratitude. That and I could just be using you, right? Anyway, do your best. I might learn a few things about Shinji and Leo's servants. I should probably listen to their advice, to her, bleh, her advice, and go poke around the library. It's the library, right? Yeah, library. Oh, look who's here. Hey, look who the cat dragged in. I never expected to run into you. Oh, who am I kidding? <laughs> I'm just messing with you. The library is the best place to find info. I know all about you. Caster, why didn't you hear? Hide your fox traits. I know all about you, so I expect you to go all out against me. But enough about me. It looks like you're having a hell of a time finding the book you want. Unfortunately for you, I've thoughtfully taken every book about my servant and hid them. I thought you'd have more fun this way. I hid everything somewhere in the arena. I wonder if a weak sauce master like you will be able to find them. By the way, what does your servant want in return for helping you? Money, right? I knew it. Do your best, while you still can. <laughs> well, see you around. Good luck. I hope you'll put up a little more of a fight the next time we meet in the arena. You're starting to bore me. Oh, I don't think that's what Caster wants. Oh, it's Leo. Greg, Greg congratulations on making it to the main tournament. Your first opponent is Shinji Mato, I believe. Be cautious around him, as I hear his servant is powerful. Oh, it seems you don't fully accept that our previous school life was but a convenient boss. Let's see. Since fate has made us companions, perhaps I should explain things to you. Shall I? You know what? Let's take him up on this. Let's get started. Do you know what a reality marble is? It's a thaumaturgical technique whereby one space is transformed into a completely different space. Some servants are able to generate a reality marble. As it takes a great deal of energy to sustain a reality marble, most last only a few minutes. The school that housed prelims happened to be a reality marble generated by the Holy Grail. Besides the school as it appeared in the prelims, the current school, the arena, and the Colosseum, all are individual reality marbles created by the incredible magic of the Holy Grail. To give you an idea of just how powerful the Holy Grail is, even the most advanced supercomputer couldn't sustain one reality marble this length of time. All the participants in the Holy Grail War had their memories wiped out upon entering. Then the Holy Grail's reality marble gave them, gave all the participants school personas to inhabit. Masters had a time limit of four days to realize they had been tricked into playing a role. Potential masters had to pass that basic test to enter into the Holy Grail War. <laughs> Although Tosaka seemed to shake off her yoke very quickly. By the way, Mr. Fujimura and Iseriudo aren't masters, they're NPCs with specific roles. The masters who did not break free of the fantasy were dealt death. Tragic, but the Holy Grail War itself is a lengthy process of culling the weak. A word of advice? Learn all you can. I assure you the information will benefit you greatly later on. About Gawain. One of the major knights mentioned in the Arthurian cycle and often thought to be King Arthur's nephew. Equal and skilled to Lancelot, he served as an advisor to Arthur. He was at odds with Lancelot due to his slaying of both of Gawain's brothers. Due to his overwhelming nobility and youthful impetuousness, he placed his family ties above all else. It was Sir Gawain's hatred of Sir Lancelot that eventually led to his and Arthur's eventual downfall. It was in the Battle of Camelan that Sir Gawain fell, slain by Sir Lancelot. I... Oh, I should probably grab an exit. And anyways... Okay. 
Okay. I still can't use triangle to go up. Ah, oh, there's, uh... already have a cipher key. Excellent. You will soon get the other one at this rate. The second floor is where you will find the secondary trigger. Head to the arena. You should be able to go to a new floor. I've said my piece. Oh, I almost forgot. Have you set foot in the chapel yet? The system's jurisdiction doesn't penetrate that far, but you can strengthen your servant there. Well, I've said my piece. Go and slaughter to your heart's content. Oh, and before I forget. Ah, my beloved kendo sword. You actually found it. Thank you. Here you go. By the way, I hate to ask you for another favor, but Greg, do you think you can do your lovely teacher one more teensy favor? Sure. Really? Oh, thank you. Truth be known, I really need a tangerine stat. There should be a tangerine on the second floor of the arena. If you get it for you before the end of the first round, I'd be ecstatic. If you manage to get it, I'll give you a fabulous decoration for your private room. Good luck. Yeah, you actually get to decorate the uh, room in this game. And while I'm at it... I don't have one of these, so... I have a couple of shards. So the chapel, they said. Is it actually open now? I push open the heavy door to the chapel and go inside where it is dark and eerily silent. I get the strange feeling that this place is completely cut off from the rest of the world. There's no one in the pews. As I get used to the dim light, a flash of colors hurts my eyes. Those two women, they don't act like sisters. And why are they here anyway? Hey there, welcome to the chapel. You're here to perform an alteration of the soul? Ah, you're that... what was it again? Odd. I can't remember the last time I forgot something. Well, it's not like the details matter, and the more test subjects, the better, I always say. Oh. Welcome to the Eden of the East. I assume you're here for an alteration of the soul. Alteration of the soul? What is that supposed to mean? Realizing I have no clue as how to answer, she continues talking. You don't know what the alteration of the soul is, but you came here anyway, amateur. Alteration of the soul? What is it, you ask? Simply put, you link your soul to your servants. When a master's rank increases, we can strengthen the link. That's done by hacking into each soul and choosing what to improve. And it... So... When I've been leveling up, I've been gaining skill points. This is what you use them on. And this is also where I start getting... Cast her magic. Well, it's like my sister said. My job is to perform alterations made possible by various events. Sister, are these two really related? I was about to ask if they were really sisters, but a sudden wave of hatred from the two stops me. You get the gist of it, right? If you want to do an alteration of the soul, let me know. As for that creature over there, she's totally useless. Like, A-track tapes, or the C-prompt. Hey, don't disdoss! And you're lower than dirt. Don't screw up, or the moon cell will come down on you. Again! Gah! How many times do I have to tell you that the master was at fault? That time! It specifically told me to do quasi-legal alterations, so I added a few extra skills. Laugh now, but it wouldn't be funny to the one who lost because of your, to of your towering incompetence. Listen well, boy. If you value your life, do not put e any trust in that thing's abilities. If I were you, I'd stick to regaining the spiritual statuses that your servant may have lost. Ha. Huh. The red-headed sister is less than useless. Actually, it's more Ayo Ayoko... Ozaki oh, isn't really suited for this particular task. Even a pseudomagus like me can see that. For some reason, I thought all the things servant related were the preserve of Toko Ozaki. I don't know how to pronounce their names. What was that? Oh yes, I'm far more skilled at alterations than Aoko. By a factor of ten or so. Hmm, I ain't having to take Toko's abuse every day. I'll try to control my rage for now. Even as she says that, I can see veins popping out on Aoko Ozaki's clenched fists. But aren't you exaggerating a little? I mean, ten times? I'm amazed that Milko didn't immediately throttle Toko after that her snide and offensive comment. 
Why are you so surprised? And I wasn't trying to be snide, merely honest. In this case, shutting up and accepting her place beneath me is the only thing Elko can do. <sighs> Elko gnashes her teeth in rage, but if Toko is so talented, why isn't she doing the alterations? I have other things to attend to. Not to mention all the stuff Kokuto dumped on me. Right now, I'm simply keeping an eye on my lowly sister so she doesn't accidentally kill someone. So just ignore me. If you need to perform an alteration of the soul, ask the monkey over there. Well then, what do you say we try an alteration right now? Let's go for it. Alright, so... With caster, you mostly want to focus into magic, but you definitely want to put some stuff into defense. So... Start it. So yeah, strength. Raises damage to enemies. Defense. Lowers damage done by enemies. Agility. Stabilizes damage stats. Raises skill speed. Skill speed. Yeah, we can tell how much they go up. So... One... So she goes about 1.5. Strength, I'm not gonna do that. Same deal with defense. Agility seems to be a clean 2.3. Magic definitely rises fairly quickly. And level luck. Fairly quickly. That being said, I'm gonna do. Yeah, that. Alright, let's see this. Yeah, more magic. And up. Uh, oh, what's this? Uh, sounds like a. Nope, we're done here. There's something going on in the garden. When I go to look at Shinji causing trouble again, it appears that Shinji is being thrown out of the chapel after angering that old man. I'm not sure if the chapel's gonna be very quiet given uh, those sisters. I have always believed that the Japanese were polite. I guess I was misled. Leave this place at once. The gates of heaven will only remi bleh, remain close to the unbeliever. It appears that in your haste to learn how to fight, you forgot to learn dignity and respect. I really hate old geezers like you, always talking down on me. When it comes to time to fight, you can bet your ass I'll be teaching you a thing or two. Oh, look, a guy who didn't look like an NPC. I wonder what his deal is. Oh. Alright, we got the second cypher key. Let's go knock it out. The second key has been created. I need to get it before the battle three days from now. We got this, guys. We got this. So... Gonna save. Into the second floor. 